Hey everyone, it's Austin and welcome back to day 154 on my journey to 2000. I'll be playing chess every day until I reach the goal, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, all that, and let's get into today's game. All right, and into the 10 minute pool we go. I played another game after yesterday's games because I couldn't stomach being under 1700. Looks like we're going to get a King's Indian type of setup if I had to guess. Perhaps not. What's a flexible move that I could play that is useful in both positions? Here. Yep, that's what I thought. We'll go here, here. Here, here. Oh, all pretty standard so far. Okay, so if I castle here, takes, takes, oops. That would be a big oopsie doopsie from him. So I think I'm safe for another move. And then I might be the first one to play e5. Interesting. Maybe he's trying to transition to d5. If I go here, he can go here now. <laughs> is it time to just start sending it? The problem with that is that the knight gets this square. And then I'd have to move my knight to like play f3 to kick him out or something. Um, don't want to overthink it though. I definitely feel like this is the best move. So let's just play it. If pawn takes, definitely uh, knight takes. Definitely don't want to pawn takes and trade queens. Okay. I like this because it covers this square from his knight. It's a bit of an interesting move. I think I'm going to go here and then start sending the pawn. Keep it up. I also forgot to play this move. I don't know if I really needed to. I kind of was hoping that like something like this would happen and then I'd be able to uh, get some nonsense done. I mean, I feel like this is screaming to be played now. Let's just go for it. Knight takes, bishop takes. Whoa. Where are you going with that knight? Trying to go here, maybe? Here. Takes, takes. Takes, 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 takes. Seems to favor me pretty well. If knight here. Here, knight here. Bishop in. Or I could take it. I don't know. So if I take, am I not just like cracking everything open? 
Well, the problem is I'm absolutely not cracking everything open because his knight can recapture. <laughs> so if I go here, though, and he takes this, then I have to take with the pawn, otherwise my bishop hangs. So taking here seems like a remedy. I mean, I feel like, I feel like I can sack the exchange here, like, absolutely. I mean, like, do you really want to take that? Okay. If you insist. Here, just here. Center is a bit more open than I prefer, that's for sure, for building this kind of an attack, but... Whoa. Really? Here, where is he threatening to go? Okay. Oh man, I really want to sack my knight. This is probably the best move though. Walks into knight here, perhaps. Hmm. Oh. Man. This pawn is going to be loose if I am not careful. So if I go here and he goes here, I can go here threatening checkmate and pinning the queen. Then he has no checks on my king. So that seems good. Let's just do this and then try to break open. I was thinking if he has some sort of a sack, check takes here, but I think that my bishop being here to help cover up the D file is an important defensive resource. I don't know, it's hard to say. Oh wow. What about check?
Isn't that just mate? Check here, mate. All right, mating attack. Let's go. It definitely wasn't the best attack. Oh, I lost the game at some point, but it, it always feels good when I get some practice in attacking. Bishop h6 was best, and it's already plus one here. <laughs> D takes was better. Go figure. Okay, so I guess let's dig in a little bit deeper. Don't hate the way I played the opening. So if I play this, this, rook takes, and it's just more of a positional game, I guess. Wait, what? Knight fd7. It seems crazy. No, still attacking. King b1 is best. G takes is best. That's insane. No. Yeah, I was about to say, that makes no sense. G3. Wild. Okay, now it's just showing zeros. So what did I miss? Um, I'm sure you guys have a similar experience to me. Like, if you play the first engine line that pops up on chess.com sometimes like you know it's the first engine line but then if you give it a minute it won't be the best move knight c5 now that makes a lot more sense than going backwards plus 0.5 h5 wow a4 okay Getting a little bit too too deep here, in my opinion. Ninety six is seems a little bit crazy. G three now. G three is an idea, it just makes sense. Okay, now once H five for black. Bishop C four. I can definitely see how this would be like. A good position for black for white to play but like obviously you're not attacking in this position here it's close to equal i really just forgot about the bishop h6 move to be honest yeah i think that this move was a big waste of time and you can tell it was because now it's like almost plus two that was best move best move let's go blunder okay so this was just a blunder i thought that i was big brain as always h5 was huge and then he needed to play knight takes, and now I sack. Yeah, now I sack the exchange. But I needed to sack it for the knight, not for the bishop. Which makes sense, this bishop isn't really contributing that much for the defense. Um, bishop takes e5. Rook takes. D takes. Because we want him to open, open it up. Okay, now it's saying rook takes. Okay. This is just what I was just saying. Like, the top engine move did not correspond to what it's calling the best move. Now f6. Threatening the rook. And the bishop's gonna get trapped. Bishop takes a2 is insane. I mean, are you not just playing b3 here? I think that's the third best engine move. It's, it's only good. Okay, so... I definitely just blundered sacking the exchange, but then he gave me the attack right back, and then this was another blunder. So I did need to just play this right away. Why, why isn't he just taking my knight? H takes, and I'm threatening mate in one. Oops. Oh, he can... S Best move is for him to sack the queen. There's just no way to stop, mate. Okay. Alright. I missed that. Obviously. Um. So knight h7 was his best move. And then my queen is trapped. Yeah, my queen is literally trapped. That's insane. 
I don't know. I saw this move and then I saw this refutation and I thought that I was good to go. Oh well. Very poorly calculated by me. Um. Okay. Intermezzo h5. If takes here. Um. Wow, just h takes. If f takes e. This is check, protected by the knight, and we don't care. Bishop takes. Wow. It really just goes to show sometimes that you can just throw all your freaking pieces away, man. I need to learn this. Like, I need to, you know, pick up on this stuff. I I'm getting it. I'm getting it more and more, you know? Like, the other day when I sacked my rook in a position like this, like, I'm getting there. It's just, it's a slow burn. It's really hard for me as somebody that considers themselves more of a positional player. And I thought that I was like... You know, I was really trying to force it by sacking the exchange in this game, but it turned out to just be an equalizing move. This being a big miss. So, this was actually only equalizing, but then this was the blunder. Well, it's calling it a miss, but if you're going from plus four to minus four, let's just call that a blunder. Um. Completely missed that move. That's a hard move. Okay, well, I'm not going to play any more games today. I think I already mentioned at the beginning of the video that yesterday, after my two losses, I played one more immediately after I turned the camera off and won because I just... I just knew that, like, I just needed a second to reset. I needed to get the camera off of me so I could feel a little bit less nervous. And then I performed well. And then right now, I just still don't really feel like I got, oops, sorry. I don't really feel like I got the juju. Definitely made some pretty big mistakes this game. And I got lucky that my opponent um, didn't punish me for them. Of course, I'll take the win. But all that being said, I think it's, it's best if I just... Um, play less, study more when I'm feeling like this. Um, for all the people commenting, telling me to take a break, like if you didn't get the previous message when I addressed the crowd about taking a break, like I'm not taking a break. I'm way too disciplined for that. I'm dedicated to playing chess every day until I reach the goal for better or for worse. There are times where it helps me. There are times where it hurts me, but um, quitting is not in my DNA. And as far as I'm concerned, taking a break is quitting. So I ain't doing that. Shout out if you just heard my cat meow. All right. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. As always, I hope you have a fantastic December 30th. And I will see you tomorrow for New Year's Eve. You want to come say hi, buddy? He's putting his paw up on me. Come here. You want to come say hi to the nice people of YouTube? Say hi, Vincent. He hates being held, but he loves the pets. All right, guys. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow.